Hello! So we've got a new old school RuneScape update, the Clan Cup statues. So let's have a look at the Clan Cup statues. The past few weeks have been packed with action. Every Saturday, the top clans in old school have battled it out in an attempt to be named the winners of the Clan Cup. The Clan Cup is now over and the winners have been decided. To celebrate their victories, they have placed the statues for these clans at Clan Wars. So congratulations to Ancient Fury, Reign of Terror, Fatality, Stud Unit and Hexy. If you want to see my video about the Clan Cup, please click here. The clans chose their design of the characters on their statues to make it a touch more personal to their clan. After clans spent weeks taking part in challenging fights and head-to-heads, the statues are certainly well deserved. These statues can be found Clan Wars ground in a small area which was previously empty. Make sure you check them out in-game to see them in all their glory. Thank you for all the clans that participated in this year's Clan Cup and made the event worth hosting. Next year's cup will surely be bigger and better than this year's, and hopefully they'll see more clan related events cropping up before then. We also have a bit of news on the free to play trial. The free to play trial for players that have not had membership for at least 90 days has now run its course, and after seeing the results they will be leaving the trial open to elapsed members until further notice. Once they're able to analyse the data gathered through the extension of the trial, they will talk about what's next stage in the free to play journey. And then in other news, Probita now animates correctly when walking. Magic carpets are no longer invisible when your right hand is empty. They've adjusted the coins on death dropped by Recipe for Disaster Gloves to reflect the shop price rather than the alchemy value. The Observatory Notice Board no longer displays your rank as null with 100 total clue scrolls completed. They fixed the typo when attempting to steal from various stalls. So if you want to discuss this update go to the forums or in my comments. And unfortunately the new room for the player owned houses isn't ready yet, but next week's update will include the player owned houses menageries for your beloved pets. It wasn't quite ready for this week's update, but it is well on its way. Mod Alfred has been working furiously to create some interesting objects to fill up the menageries, and Mod Ash has been putting it all together. Here's a few snapshots of the progress so far. So these are a few items that will be in the menagerie, and when we go down here, we can notice that there's a scratching post for cats, a pet feeder which feeds kittens, an arena where pets may rant harmlessly at each other, a pet house, the best houses hold all the boss pets, plus various extras, a toggle option makes pets stay inside rather than roaming about the house, and a pet catalogue. <coughs> and today is Thursday so don't miss out the Q&A livestream 5pm British time on the twitch.tv forward slash runescape channel. Mod Alfreds and Giara will be eating ghost chilies to support Mod Alfreds charity run, so don't miss that. And there's a new poll out today, click here for my video on that. It's all about Content Poll 24, so if you want to find out what's in Content Poll 24, click here for my dev blog video. If you want to keep up to date with all the old school team and what they're doing, follow them on Twitter, that's Jagex Alfred, Jagex Ash, Jagex John C, Jagex Matt K, Jagex Reach, Jagex Ronan and Jagex Worth. If you want to keep up to date from me, please subscribe. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and share. I've been Lewis. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.